I'm back in my Sims 3 era again. Well, I'm kind of always in my Sims 3 era, but I've been playing it a lot over the past couple weeks. In my opinion, I think that Island Paradise has some of the coolest and most unexpected features in that whole game. One of them being the fact that you can live on a houseboat. This is an example of one of those houseboat starter homes, and it's not really all that fancy. It's kind of just a floating square. And when I say floating square, I mean it. It's literally just a, a box on a box. There's a very small house here. It's got all the basics, but upstairs, there's like a rooftop deck where you can put furniture, but you can also drive the boat. And that's where it gets kind of cool because you're not stuck to this dock. You can change ports, you can bring the boat out like a regular boat, you can drive it around. The only problem is that this world kind of sucks. It's like kind of laggy and it doesn't really work. Yeah, I would like to show you myself moving the houseboat, but um, it doesn't it doesn't want me to. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, I can't even get to the wheel. I can't even show you. The game is like completely frozen. <sighs> All right, so say I wanted to switch ports to this one, the prominent port. I do have to pay because you're kind of like buying a new home port. But look, she, well, okay, you can't really see it, but look, she's driving the boat. <laughs> she's standing up there and the boat is moving. You just can't tell because the game doesn't work. But um, it, it, the boat is moving. I'm so not selling this right now. Don't buy this pack. <laughs> if you don't already have Island Paradise, don't buy it. <laughs> it's so laggy. But she can move the boat just like any other boat and she can also live on it. The point that I'm trying to make here is that I think this houseboat concept is really, really Really cool and I'm kind of feeling inspired to try and build something like this in The Sims 4. Obviously in The Sims 4 it really won't work. <laughs> it barely works here but in The Sims 4 it's it's not gonna be functional, it's just gonna be pretend. But we can dream for the most part half of playing The Sims is pretending and I'm gonna close the game right now because I'm sick of this. <laughs> it doesn't want to work, I can't even click it. Oh my god, don't, I'm serious, don't buy Island Paradise. Just don't put yourself through that. The Sims 3 is a lovely game, there's a lot of fun packs. Island Paradise Paradise specifically doesn't work that well. And before you ask, I was using the smooth patch. I have a mod to make the game run better and it still does that. So anyway, I think the goal today is to try and make some sort of pretend houseboat in Sulani. The other half of this inspiration is the fact that I'm currently working on building a literal cruise ship in The Sims 4. It's taking me a long time, so I'm not quite done with it yet. Here is that cruise ship, by the way. Like I said, not quite done. Lots of empty space, but we're getting there. I just have a lot of work left to finish on it. I'm hoping to post a video on this soon, but I gotta get it done first. I'm quickly interrupting because I have some huge news. A lot of you have been asking for a restock of my sensitive hoodie merch for like a year. So for this weekend only, both the pink and the black sensitive hoodies are restocked, but again, only until Sunday. We are also doing a massive final sale of everything else on my merch site. It's all like 60% off. My merch website is lilsimsyshop.com. I'm gonna have it linked down below for you in case you wanna go check it out. This is gonna be the last print ever of these sensitive hoodies. So if you've been wanting one, don't miss your chance. It's lilsimsyshop.com. We've also got some cute cat backpacks and cat pajamas on there if you're interested. And those are 60% off. Okay, that's my little update. Back to the video. So instead, we're gonna try and make a small version today. I was thinking about building it here on this 30 by 30 lot. I'm not really sure how big I want this to be. I mean, I'm guessing probably not very big at all. Maybe something along these lines. But then I think I wanna have the front of it be open like a deck. Again, really, really not sure what I'm going for with this. This is uh, one of those times where you're really gonna have to trust the process because I have not got a clue what I'm going for with this. I feel like these round pieces kind of make sense. I don't know, maybe it helps give it, I, does it look like a boat? I don't know. Okay, this might be kind of weird, but I'm picturing there being a staircase up to that top floor, like a rooftop deck or something. And then maybe there's a staircase inside and that's how you get up to this floor. Ooh, I don't know. The staircase being inside kind of, it kind of ruins the vibes just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I can make this bigger. Just trust the process, okay? This is one of those times where I, I really have to beg you to trust the process because I understand completely that this is very strange. <laughs> but give me a second. I swear I'm gonna figure something out, okay? I will make this work. I just, um, I, I just need time is all. Maybe the whole thing could be a bit wider. Oh, you know what? It not being completely pointy at the end might actually be better. And then if it's a little bit wider, this part's less weird. Okay, I think that's an improvement. I really hate that. I hate that you can't put trim next to the staircase. I understand why, like it would kind of interfere with the stairs, so I get it. But I wish, I so badly wish I could have trim right there. Okay, well the other thing is that we need to have a dock or something to get us up to the houseboat, because obviously it's floating. So what I was picturing is that there would be some sort of regular dock something along these lines. And then the rest of the boat is gonna be on a more solid foundation and we're pretending that the boat 
is floating. Obviously, the boat is not floating. <laughs> the boat is touching the ground, but we're going to pretend that it's floating. I don't know. This isn't too bad, right? I mean, I think it makes sense. I don't know. Oh dear. Okay. Sorry. I, I was thinking about ways to use this half wall to enclose the stairs and it um, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, if I put it like that, does it work? That might be okay. Maybe I could try and build some sort of fake wall or something around the staircase. Shockingly, I don't really know all that much about boats, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this might be like super weird. Maybe I don't like the wall stuff. I kind of thought I did something with these, but I've changed my mind. It actually looks really weird, <laughs> so never mind. Maybe it doesn't need trim. Depending on the fence that we use, the fence might pass as the trim. Oh my god, are you serious? Why? Why? Okay, there. Um, I mean, this isn't amazing either. Ew, why does it do that? I, ugh, I hate the auto placement in the fences in this game. I hate it. It makes me so mad. I'm gonna come back to that. <laughs> I don't like it. I need to think about it more. I need to give myself time to just to that. <sighs> okay, well the other thing that I was picturing is maybe some sort of like glass overhang or something back here. I'm kind of hoping that this will help me figure out a color scheme and we can try and match it to whatever these things look like. I at least like the blue. The blue glass is kind of cool. I'm gonna start putting in doors. I wanna have big glass doors like pretty much everywhere. Oh, okay, maybe not over here. <laughs> maybe no glass doors there. I think I need to have this part be open. I thought that I could open up this area by the stairs to make it look a little bit less weird because it's just in the corner like that. And then I guess I was sort of imagining that up here would be the bedroom, like some sort of lofted bedroom space. And then down here is gonna be most of the living area. Wait, why do I have it floating there? Put it right there. That makes way more sense. Okay. Okay, sorry everyone, <laughs> this is way better now, sorry. So I'm thinking that we could have the bathroom right here in kind of the back corner. We could potentially do a really tight kitchen. It is a boat, so it makes sense that the kitchen would be kind of small. You know, I could maybe even shrink the whole place. I feel like it being just smaller in general isn't really a bad thing. Again, it's a boat, so it makes sense that it's small. Okay, and I guess the rest of this is just like the living and dining room. And then we'll have some more living and dining spaces outside. If we wanted to, we could probably try and get another bedroom. Like it might not be a bad thing to have a second bedroom downstairs. I hate that I have to put the door in the corner. This kind of thing bothers me so much. I like genuinely hate doors being in the corner of walls like this. I know that I'm being unreasonable. It's just one of my pet peeves in this game. I really don't like doors being up against the wall. It's because they get too close to the wall and then it kind of clips a little bit. Like the way it's clipping on the edge of it, I kind of alt placed it a little bit so it's not doing it anymore as much, but it just, it really bugs me. All right, I am really set on having a galley style kitchen like this, so I'm gonna do it no matter what, even though it may be a little bit inefficient. And then what I was thinking for the layout is that we could have a dining table or like some sort of dining nook over here. I'll refurnish, but that's kind of my initial thought. We'll have a front door, maybe this one, cause it's kind of interesting looking. Maybe this could be a second bathroom. Oh, I don't know. This is so weird. I have to come back to the layout. I don't know what I want it to be like and it's making me nervous. So I'm just gonna do something else and then, and then revisit because I'm not sure what to add. I think I might scoot the dock over a little bit. I think it looks better when it goes right up to the edge like that. Do you think if I use the invisible foundation? Oh, mm, that's kind of weird. I wonder if there's like a, some sort of debug item that you could put under it that looks like a boat. <laughs> I don't think I should use the invisible foundation though. This can be interesting if you have the right place for it, but I don't, I don't think this is the right place. I don't know if it looks really bad or not. I like how the staircase looks a lot, but maybe, maybe I don't want to have the deck be so much of a deck upstairs. Like maybe we could just have it be a not completely functional rooftop. So it's got rooftop at platforms must have area. Excuse you. I thought I was making a wall. Okay, well, I was gonna say, so it has like rooftop access in case you need to get up here to fix something or work on something. But for the most part, it's like, I don't know, maybe it's just a skylight or something. Mm. I guess that's not too bad. We might be able to make this work. I need to get a slightly bigger half wall. There also is like actual skylight sort of items from Island Living, but the reason I'm using the roof instead of that like little square glass piece is because I can make the roof a more custom size. I am talking about, oh my God, these things. They're nice, but I can't like fit them to this size exactly because it's only three tiles wide. So I'm just not gonna use it. How about this? Maybe I could try and use some platforms to make this slightly 
more interesting looking because then I could pick one that's got like kind of a fun trim to it and that might help with the fact that I can't use trim here because of the stairs. I'll get some like little pipes or something. <laughs> Does that make it look like a boat? I don't know. This is a mess. Okay, here's what I've got so far for the windows on the back. We've got a couple big windows in this bathroom. There's a couple big windows in this bedroom and there's one small window in the front. <laughs> Not much to go off of from there, unfortunately. I'm wondering if this sort of weird window placement helps it look more like a boat or not. I mean, the answer is probably not. It's not gonna look like a boat no matter what I do, because it's it's just a weird little Sims build, <laughs> but we can try. Do you think that might be kind of cool? Maybe I could use this on the back, because I don't really want to have a lot of windows on this side. So perhaps I could try to steal that idea a little bit to fill in something on the back. That's such a cool view out of that window. I wish this sort of thing was real. Well, this is good, because that makes the back look really ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of terrible. Okay, new plan. Small little windows on the top floor up there. Thoughts? At the very least, a couple small windows in this part would be nice because this is going to be a little half bathroom. What sort of flooring do people have on docks? I, like, this is a, I don't know. <laughs> this is a little bit not my area of expertise. Do you think I need a fence in this round part? Because I don't like how it looks, but that, that is probably not my smartest idea. <laughs> oh, let's just not put a fence in the round part. You don't need one. You'll be fine. Just don't have one. Just just fall off. Fall off the boat. What on earth kind of flooring do you have? Ew, 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 ew. Maybe it's like this. No. <laughs> I wish I could use, honestly, if this came in, in like actual white, I would like it. Oh, this comes in white. Oh, it's kind of like a cream color though. Well, this is what I've got so far for the exterior. I don't think it's bad, but I also don't think it's good. It is, it is kind of getting somewhere. I want to put a little satellite dish thing on top. Is it one of the roof? Yeah, there we go. Not a satellite dish. Okay. You need that. It's a houseboat. I'm kind of going for like all white, sort of modern, fancy boat vibes, but I also have these gray accents. I'm kind of going for like all white, sort of modern, fancy, like almost realistic boat vibes, like actual boat and not so much houseboat. Cause sometimes I feel like houseboats kind of have, I don't know, I guess they get more fun colors and stuff, don't they? But this one is more like literal boat than houseboat at the moment. Okay, I kind of like this little paneling, at least on the bottom floor and maybe the top floor can be plain still. I always think this growing together light is kind of ugly. I know that's mean, but I just, I always have that thought. I always think, wow, I, I kind of hate that light. <laughs> but maybe we could use it here. It certainly adds something. Oh, it's weird at night. Okay, interesting. All right, we should probably start actually furnishing now because I have officially put it off for too long. Now we have a better idea of where things go and what these different rooms are. It shouldn't be too difficult. So I was thinking about doing a lot of stuff that seems built in. That was kind of my initial vision. I feel like that happens a lot on boats. We want it to all be like built, built together or whatever. In theory, you would be able to drive this around. So we want it to be secure. Oh, I like how that desk looks like it's built into the wall. Okay, that's kind of what I was talking about when I said that. Maybe I'll get a little laptop for us. And maybe our main accent color can be this kind of like minty color because we're on the water. Ooh, I wonder if I could use, wait a minute. I might have to alt place this a little bit. The ones from City Living don't attach to anything, right? I wonder if I could try and fit those in at all. Eh, never mind. Looks bad, don't use it. Oh no. <laughs> I know I said teal, but yikes, that's kind of horrible. This one's better. There's also a lighter color. If we want it to be a little bit more, I don't know, um, subtle. <laughs> if we want it to be a little bit more subtle, we could use that instead. Oh my God, I was about to say, oh, maybe we could get a trash chute. No, that is an absolutely horrible idea. You can't just put a trash chute. A chute to where? The ocean? Please don't do that. Please don't just dump your trash into the ocean. We cannot have that. I actually think this tiny living TV is probably the way to go. I like how it's small, but it also is a TV, a bookshelf, and a radio. Or maybe we could put that upstairs. Maybe they could have a TV in a bedroom. I don't think anything's gonna come in the cute minty color of my dreams. You can't even really filter for like mint. <laughs> you have to just turn on green and blue filters and then find something that sort of matches. Trust me, I have experience in this field. I have done my fair share of not so very challenges. Oh, that, wow. Okay, that is certainly minty. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this could work. Oh, I like how it has the light wood color too. Oh, wait a minute. 
this might be a really fun rug choice. This is gonna sound so weird, but it almost looks like the, the sunset or something. <laughs> I don't know, it's got like water and some colors in the sky. I'm gonna pretend it's the sunset. You have to admit, at least kinda has boat vibes, right? At least a little bit. Oh, okay, is this weird or is it interesting? I'm putting cabinets on top of this thingy and almost implying that it's like an extension of the cabinets? I don't know. I can put legs maybe on the other side a little bit. They are, they are smaller legs, but they're still legs. This is one of those times where I am genuinely not sure if this is really cool or really bad, and it, it really could go either way. Oh, how cool are these pictures? I'm gonna use them up this wall. That also gives us another accent color with the black, which we kind of need because it's sort of plain in here, and you also can't change the frame color, so <laughs> I'm sort of stuck with it. I swear Island Living has some sort of like life ring item. Am I? Oh, there it is. I think we should try and use that as some sort of decor somewhere. Honestly, both inside and outside because we don't have a lot of room to work with here. So if we can use this on some of the walls to fill in some sort of decor. Oh, that's cute. I don't know. Maybe like on this little small wall because what else are you going to put there? Oh, there's also this item. <laughs> I don't know where to put that. All the walls are kind of full. This is the kind of thing that you want to have be like a focal point though. I don't want to stick that just anywhere. It needs to be intentional. I do kind of like that though. Oh, that's so nice. All the paintings make a huge difference. Okay, sorry. I started digging there to look for stuff to put on this table and then I, I started putting fish pictures up, <laughs> which is good, but wasn't my original intention. So I'm still having to do this. Is it safe to have a candle on a boat? I, I don't know. I think you probably shouldn't have a candle on a boat. At least I, I think I probably wouldn't put a candle on a boat. It, it does seem like a bad idea, right? Especially putting a candle so close to some like plants right here. <laughs> this is like asking to catch on fire. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, how does that seem? Does that, I can't tell if it's cool or if it's awful. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this is the way we could use the new frame TV. And then as long as I'm decorating enough on the side here and I move the windows down, maybe I can make it look like it's supposed to be there. I like the idea of the frame TV, but I think I want it to be like a, a TV TV. I'm looking for more dimension. Oh, this is a little bit smaller too, so it might fit better. Is it okay if it's like lopsided? Well, it's gonna have to be, <laughs> cause it already is. Put a couple bits of clutter on the desk. I haven't fully decided on bathroom tile, but I might just use the same stuff on the walls and the floor. I've kind of been imagining that this bathroom would be just a toilet and a sink. I feel like for a boat, it's, it's actually really nice to have a second bathroom, so they should be very pleased. I am gonna put blinds in the windows though, cause you know, well, it's a bathroom, so <laughs> you probably want it to be covered up. I'm not sure how realistic it would be to have a full tub in here, but you know, I've got space and it sure would be nice. Like if you've got a dog or something, it, it would be helpful. I'm scared to put too much more in here in case I make it like too cluttered and then it starts not working. Okay, I decided I completely hated the coffee table. <gasps> oh, <laughs> could you imagine if I used the fish table? Do you think it would be offensive if I had a fish tank in in here? Like, would it be, would it be weird? I'm not sure how much clutter to put in here. Cause like I was saying before, it's a boat. So you probably want things to be, you know, I'm kind of secured. <laughs> I've got right now this little dining table. Unsure if I should put too much else over here. I switched the coffee table to this one and I think I might get some magazines or something to put on it. We have these kind of cute interior design magazines. So maybe I could use that and like a coffee mug or something. Oh, it's maybe it's the mug. I'm thinking of the one from the clutter kit. There we go. Make it look like somebody's been sitting there drinking their coffee this morning. In this bedroom, I'm so sorry to say this, but I really, really, really want to use this boat wallpaper. This is my time, okay? When else can we do this? You you can't do this any other time. This is a boat. We have to. We just have to. This will be kind of a kid's bedroom, I was thinking. Oh, you know what? That little polka dot swatch kind of matches. Like somehow it, it fits perfectly with the boats. Oh my God. Is it like so cringe of me to put decorative boats inside of my house boat? Cause I think that's kind of cute. I was about to say, I feel like there's not enough boat stuff in here, but there's literally an entire boat wall. So <laughs> if I think that's not enough, then I don't really know what I'm asking for. Truly how much more boat stuff can a person have? Oh my God, wait, <gasps> oops, sorry. There's sandal lights. I totally forgot about this, <laughs> but there's like little sandal wall lights. We need that. We. 
Oh no, it doesn't fit. Oh man, I want it. It's perfect. <laughs> they do light up kind of weird though, don't they? My heart is broken right now. I want to use them, but I think they look bad. Okay, here's what I have so far. We've got a little seating area. I've got some pictures, a dresser. We've got a desk and a bunk bed. I'm thinking last, I might use this little stool and pretend that there's a lamp on it. This is actually a chair, but I like to pretend that it's a side table and just put stuff on it. And then I think I might leave the room because I don't want to make it too busy. Upstairs. Stairs. This area is supposed to be that lofted primary bedroom. Ooh, I don't know where to put the bed. This is kind of a weirdly laid out room. <laughs> There's not a lot of plain wall space because I want to have a bed with like proper nightstands on either side. It's just like the windows are all kind of weirdly placed. Maybe I could put the bed in the middle up against this half wall. Oh, I guess I could do that and then use tiny nightstands and we could still have one on both sides. And that leaves me room to put, I don't know, like a dresser or something over here. Do you think it would be super weird to have a dresser that goes all the way across the side? It is a boat, so they don't have any storage and it might be kind of nice to try and fit a whole bunch up here. Oh my God, wait, I totally forgot about this, but those debug couches, I guess it doesn't really matter the rug anymore, but that is that minty color I was going for. I'm gonna use that upstairs. This is from Eco Lifestyle. I don't know how much to put on this. I'm kind of nervous about putting like too much decor, which I realize is probably silly, but then again, it is a boat. So I don't want to have like all this stuff just kind of there in case it falls out or something or falls off. I guess it, I mean, it wouldn't fall out, I hope. That's not bad. There's some books, there's a plant and a candle and a little boat for us. Oh, my couch. Oh, I forgot I deleted it. I'm actually very glad that I noticed that because there is a high chance of me forgetting to put that back if I didn't do it just then. <laughs> I honestly would have put it on the gallery no couch and just not even realized that I was doing it. But this is kind of what I'm thinking for the finish upstairs. And now we've got all the exterior left to do. So we have to start thinking about what sort of furniture they're gonna have outside. I already put a couple lounge chairs. Maybe I can get a big giant fake palm tree to put right there. I thought it would be cute to have a grill. Again, not really sure if you should do that on a boat. Um, <laughs> maybe not. Again, open flames, probably a no-no on a boat, but it's The Sims and it's not a real boat. It's not even a boat at all. It's just a floating box. It, in fact, it's not even floating, so <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Grills are a fire hazard just in general in this game, even when you're not on the water. There's a very high chance that your Sim's gonna catch fire using it. Maybe that's like half the fun though, the thought of your Sim bursting into flames while cooking their dinner. I wanna get a nice outdoor dining table to put here. I'm not super into most of the color options is the problem. Honestly, maybe the horse ranch one could be good. And then I can just combine that with some chairs that seem like they might belong outside. Oh, what if we got a couple of actual planter boxes? I'm doing all of this to make up for the fact that I don't have a yard. <laughs> I don't have a yard, so I'm, I'm putting plants like this all over the balcony. That's cute. We can get some little flowers. Upstairs, we have the lounge chairs. I'm kind of nervous about putting too much else. Like, I don't really know if I want to have too much too close to the edge because there isn't an edge. I'm interested in adding a games table to the back up here because then your sims can play cards and stuff and then maybe i can get a couple more little planter boxes in the corner some cute little flowers how does that look from the outside because i i think that's nice we could probably use a little bit of landscaping or something on the ground too i'm gonna put a mailbox just out here maybe i could put a couple palm trees and like some beach towels down we can kind of set it up like they've been hanging out down here on the beach oh i love that little fish towel <laughs> i think that's so cute okay i'll use those oh i could put a little picnic basket like they've been sitting there eating. Okay, I like that. And then last thing, I kind of wanted to just put a couple little stones down here so it seems like there's a walkway to get up to the dock and it doesn't just like start randomly. But otherwise, I think that might be the boat finished. There's a fair amount of stuff to do, but not so much that it's gonna like fly off the boat if it moves. <laughs> We've got a cute rooftop that you can access, but there's not like chairs up there because it's more for, you know, utilities. All right, I'm putting on the gallery. House boat. <laughs> it's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. This is a fake boat. Hashtag Lil Simsy. All right, I'll upload it for you in case you want to download it. This is fun. I like to experiment a little bit with random things. It's uh, it's always kind of weird, but in a fun way to do stuff like this. Stay tuned for that cruise ship build because I, I am going to post that on YouTube at some point. I just have to finish it first. <laughs> and I've been working on it for a while because it's really, really big. It's harder than you think to make a giant cruise ship. There's a lot of um thought that has to go into the layout of stuff like this. Look at the difference in size between them. On that note, I'm going to go. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. 
I can't believe The Sims 3 has somehow tricked me into being in my boat era. I've spent years having Island Living and never doing a single thing like this, and all of a sudden I've built two. 